All right. True friendship is hard to find. Many people associate with us what they stand to gain. With reference to John Steinbach's The Pearl, write an essay to support this statement. True friendship is hard to find. Many people associate with us for what they stand to gain. With reference to John Steinbach's The Pearl, write an essay in support of this statement. Good students, welcome to The Pearl essay. Uh, prompt responses and of course bottle responses and I'm going to take you through a long session even as we're doing the final touches of this particular work here find it useful and even in case you're this particular person who is in love of literature remember the love of literature is the love of life and even in case you came across this one again accidentally my name is Fresh Sherlock give it a like give it a thumbs up that is and of course I share it with friends those that you know this work would be of significance or would be of value into our work how of course to answer the kcse essay questions based on the pal uh you're supposed to read the questions carefully for comprehension in order to understand the demands number two you need to identify the keywords in the question with a view of interpreting the question correctly identify the fake friendships that is as part of this prompt identify the fake friendships and the opportunities in come up with points of interpretation who is the who is the fake friend how do they stand to gain answer the question keep glancing at the question and the keywords in the course of your writing to avoid these uh, digressions and narration literally copy pasting some of the keywords in this question include true friendship, hard to find, and then of course you have the word gain. Some of the keywords in this particular, which have been included, are true friendship, hard to find, and gain, show how characters like the doctor, like the doctor and the priest, get involved with Kino with a view of profiting from his priceless fortune, the pearl. Of the world show the distinct change in behavior of the character based on how they behave before Kino gets the pearl and how they pretend to be his friends after he gets the pearl in each point link the insincere association to how the character hopes to gain for example how the doctor remarks that he has better things to do other than cure insect bites for little Indians. He is a doctor, not a veterinary. He asks his servant to see if Kino has any money. And I quote, No, they never have any money. I, I alone in the world, I'm supposed to work for nothing. That is on page 28. Show his change of heart when the news comes to him later that the Kino has this particular precious pearl of the world. Where is he and what is he doing? You need to support that one by showing it. What does he say when he is told who Kino is? When he is told who Kino is, the doctor grows stern and judicious at the same time and says, he's a client of mine. I'm treating his child for a scorpion sting. That is found on page 42. Now, Later on, how does he stand to gain? He wants the pearl. The things that he says betray his avarice. When do you think you can pay this bill? You have a pearl? A good pearl? Perhaps you'd like me to put it in my safe. That is on page 5. Now, later, good students, you need to use the episodic approach. Students who cited adequate specific take your details scored full marks. Now, these are the tasks. Identify the ECC a hypocritical friend. Give the background information on how the character associates with Kino before he got the pearl. Give, of course, sufficient textual backup. Show how the character pretends to be Kino's dependable, trustworthy friend after he finds the pearl. What does he stand to gain? Now, textual evidence. Show how the doctor the priest, 
the pearl buyers, neighbors and beggars associate with Kino before and after he gets the pearl. Now, the pearl essay analysis, how to write the introduction, the body, and of course the conclusion we're going to be looking at that before we give a sample response. One, what is your interpretation of the question? Show how two friends are hard to find. Who associates with Kino for selfish reasons? Paraphrase, in your own words. Paraphrase means that doing the work by trying to use your own words and using your own words means that you can, uh, what you call synonym, use the synonyms of words in place of the words that are used in the main contextual text, that, that is. Paraphrase, use your own words to demonstrate your understanding of the question. Avoid repeating the question word for word. Three, include the keywords in your introduction. Link the, quote unquote, hypocritical friendship to, quote unquote, what they stand to gain. Four, contextualize, mention the disloyal friends, e.g. Dr. Priest, Paul, buyers, neighbors, or even the beggars. Developing the body. The Paul essay question, KCC, this was 2021. One, give at least four well-illustrated points. Each point falls on a separate paragraph. Do not split one point into two paragraphs. Give adequate textual illustrations of the insincere friendship. Show how the character behaved or tweeted Kino before he got the, the pearl. Then show how the, that he pretends to be Kino's friend later on. Demonstrate that Kino gets many friends after he gets the pearl, but the friendship is not in good faith. His new friends, quote-unquote, are dishonest. They plan to gain from his newly found fortune. Point out how each of them hopes to gain. The first line of each, that is the body paragraph, must answer the question, who is the selfish friend? What do they stand to gain? And also show how the doctor, the priest, Paul buyers, neighbors, and beggars associate with Kino before and after he gets the Paul. Now let's... Um, Okay, we've uh, repeated that one. There's no problem. The Pearl essay analysis, how to write the introduction. What is your interpretation of the question? Show how true friends are hard to find. And then um, who associates with Kino for selfish reasons? Paraphrase, I'd already said that one. Forgive me, that's a repeat of the same. A duplicate, rather. Use your own words to demonstrate your understanding of the question. Avoid repeating the question word for word. Include the keywords, that's point three. In your introduction, link the hypocritical friendship uh, to what they stand to gain and then contextualize or mention that it's loyal friends. For example, Dr. Priest, Paul, Buyers, Neighbors, or the Beggars. And the part of developing the body there. Um, we have already said now, I think we need to go to the points of interpretation because we've already gotten that on good students. Point of the interpretations we have got the doctor, we have the priest, the Paul, Buyers, the Beggars. And, of course, the neighbors, those are the points of interpretation. You need to develop your work around these characters, how they purport to be good friends, and indeed, they're not uh, what they stand for. And under paragraph development, using their knowledge, those particular characters there, or compression of the text, the student was required. You are required to fetch evidence from relevant episodes in order to answer the question. We've got the topic sentence, fake friend, the priest associated with Kino only because he hopes to profit from the pearl. You need to illustrate that one. That is found on page 41, 47, 48, and 68. Now, this is what we have as the part of the illustrations. The news comes to him uh, when he is walking in his garden. It puts a thoughtful look in his eyes and a memory of certain repairs necessary to take charge. He wonders what the pearl would be worth. He wonders whether he had baptized Kino's baby or married him. The priest considered these people these people children and treated them like children. He tells Kino, Kino, and I quote, Thou art named after a great man and a great father of the church. He makes it sound like a benediction. He adds, Thy, thy namesake tamed the desert and sweetened, sweetened the minds of thy people. Didst thou know that? It is in the books. 
that is on page 47. He asked about the pearl, his sole purpose of visiting Kino. It has come to me that you have a great fortune, a great pearl. The priest gasps a little at the size and the beauty of the pearl. He says, that is episodic re reference, uh, citation of the text. And I quote those was the priest's words. I hope thou wilt remember to give thanks, my son, to him who has given thee this treasure and to pray for guidance in the future. Do you want to reply softly? We will, father, and we will be married now. The priest is delighted. It is pleasant to see that your first thoughts are good thoughts. God bless you, my children. Kino's hand had closed tightly on the pearl again and he was glancing about suspiciously. That is on page 48. Selling the pearls away from La Pearls was a good idea, but it was against the religion. According to the priest, the loss of the pearls was a punishment. Each man and woman is like a soldier sent by God to guard some part of the castle of the universe. Each one must remain faithful to his post. The priest makes this summon every year to discourage the fishermen from selling the pearls away from La Paz. Now, let's look at the sample uh, set book essay question based on the pearl by John Steinbeck. Now, true friendship, that is the same thing that we've been doing. True friendship is hard to find. Many people associate with us for what they stand for, what they stand to gain, not what they stand for. With reference to John Steinbeck's The Pearl, write an essay in support of this statement. It is good to have friends. They are sources of inspiration, emotional, and material support. Good friends would stick with you in the face of adversity, while bad ones would forge relationships with the intention of exploiting us. In the pub, Kino is a victim of fake friendship. People who interact with him, they harbor malicious intentions. They are selfish and opportunistic. First, the doctor is pretentious friend who develops a perfunctory concern for Kino only because he hopes to gain from his pal. He is obviously not a genuine friend because at first he refuses to treat Kino's baby. He says he is a doctor, not a veterinarian to treat insect bites for little Indians. He asks if Kino has any money and concludes that they never have any money. He is not willing to work for nothing. Kino has eight small mishapping, ugly pals that are flattened and almost valueless. The doctor refuses to treat the baby. His servant claims that he has gone out because he was called to a serious case. The doctor treats Kino with a contempt and indifference before he gets the pearl. When he gets wind of Kino's pearl, the doctor grows stern and judicious at the same time. About Kino, he says, he's a client of mine, I'm treating his child for a scorpion sting. He imagines himself in a restaurant in Paris enjoying some wine, probably using proceeds from the sale of the pearl. He visits Kino and pretends to show concern for his child, lying that he was not in when Kino came in the morning. He says, he has come at first chance. I know the sting of a scorpion, my friend, and I can cure it. That is on page um, 50. Kino reluctantly allows him to treat the children, the child, after he scares him about the curious effects of the sting. The doctor makes the baby's condition worse in order to trip off Kino. He gives him some white powder and clothes in a capsule of gelatin. He gives him polyc to drink. This makes the baby feel very sick. The doctor is back after an hour and treats him using three drops of ammonia in a cup of water. He later inquires about the bill. Kino will pay after he sells his pearl. The doctor pretends to be oblivious about the pearl, but offers to put it in his safe for him. He warns Kino that it may be stolen. He even stares at Kino's eyes for a hint as to where it was hidden. Clearly, the doctor only associates with Kino to profit from the pearl. Surely true friendships are hard to find, and most people only pursue selfish interests. Secondly, the priest pretends to be Kino's sincere friend only after he gets the pearl. He is walking in this garden when the news comes to him. It puts a thoughtful look in his eye and memory of certain repairs necessary to the church. He wonders about the 
uh, he wonders about the worth of the power. He also develops dishonest concern for Kino's family. He wonders whether he baptized Kino's baby or married him for that matter. He then visits Kino's family only because he hopes to benefit from his fortune. The priest tells Kino, Thou art named after a great man and a great father of the church. He makes it sound like a benediction. Rather, he adds that Kino's namesake calmed the desert and sweetened the minds of his people. Kino is illiterate to the cunning priestly slyly says it is in the books. The priest considers Kino and his people children and treats them like children. That is found on page 47. The priest inquires about the great fortune. He gasps a little as, as at its size and beauty. He tells Kino his son to remember to give thanks to God and to pray for guidance. He is pleased about their good thoughts and uh, about their good thoughts about their good thoughts. And when Joanna says that they will and they will now get married, the same priest makes a sermon every year to deter the poor fishermen from pulling their pearls and selling them at the capital. With a view of gaining from their hard work, the priest is a hypocritical friend who harbors an ulterior motive of profiting from Kino's pearl. Indeed, it is hard to find genuine friends. The pearl buyers are fake friends who appear genuinely friendly when they offer Kino the best prices, but their hidden agenda is to cheat him out of his great pearl. In their little offices, they cackle and shout until they reach their lowest prices. When they hear about Kino's pearl, their eyes squint and their fingers burn a little. They care less about the fishermen's welfare. They are avaricious and selfish. There is only one buyer who keeps many agents to create a semblance of competition. The agents plan to replace their patron, and each one hopes to raise the capital once he sells Kino's pearl. That is page 42 to 43. There is one buyer with many hands because the happiest pearl buyer is one who buys for the lowest price, 64. That's found on page 64, rather. The buyers become stiffened and alert when Kino and the procession approach their little dark offices. Kino is greeted by a stout slow man. Good morning, my friend. His face is father, fatherly, rather, and begin and beaming, and his eyes twinkle with friendship. He is a cooler of good mornings, a ceremonious shake of hands, a jolly man who knew all jokes, but whose eyes would wet with sorrow at the memory of your aunt Dennis. He gives Kino's steady, cruel gaze, eyes and winking as a hawk, but the rest of his face smiling in greetings. As much as he appears at amiable, his two colors show when he tells Kino his pal is fool's gold, a large, clumsy curiosity that no one would buy and only good for a museum. For a pal Kino thinks is 50,000 pesos, the dealer offers a measly uh, 1,000 pesos. He pretends there is no collusion with his fellow uh, conning uh, conspirators. The first dealer, a dry, strange man, tosses the pearl contemptuously back into the tray, refusing to make an offer. He calls it a monstrosity. The second one, a little man with a shy voice, claims bearded pearls are made of paste. Kino's pearl is soft and chalky and will die soon. He examines it under a microscope. The third dealer says he could sell it at 600 pesos to a client who likes such things. He offers 500 pesos. And the friendly leader praises his offer to 1,500 pesos. Kino refuses to sell his pal there after seeing through their lies. He realizes that they are not genuine friends. The dealers know that they played too hard. They pretend to give Kino the best price, yet they had conspired to buy this pal at a lowest price. Truly, it is not easy to find true friendship. Also, the four beggars follow Kino around only because of the hope that they harbor in Kino's pal. They seem interested in Kino, yet before they saw him and Joanna as poor people. The great experts in the financial analysis look at Joanna's old blue skirt, green ribbon, torn shawl, Kino's aged blanket, and a thousand washings of his blanket and dismiss them as poor people. The only reason that they follow him to the doctor's place is to witness the drama that would ensue. After that, they go back to the steps of the church, indifferent to his plight, that is on page 28. However, when they hear about Kino's pearl, they know that they will benefit from it. 
They giggle with pleasure, for they know that there is no alms giver in the world like a poor man who is suddenly lucky. Page 42. Since they sit in front of a church, the beggars hope to gain from the pearl by taking the tithe of the first fruit of the black. The beggars join the processions to the buyers, not as keen as friends, but as vultures hoping to gain from the sale of the pearl. Without doubt, many people only associate with us for what they stand to gain, not what they stand for. Kino's neighbors are not honest friends, but casual opportunists hoping to profit from his fortune. They follow Kino and Joanna to the doctor's house. The thing had become a neighborhood affair. They follow him only to witness if Kino would do the remarkable by getting the doctor. They are not there to help him. They hang around Kino's home till dusk and are reluctant to leave. The neighbors watch Kino through the crevices of their houses and dress up to accompany him. If they don't go, it will be a sign of unfriendship. They accompany Kino to sell the pearl together with their little boys, peering around the doorway, windows, bars, and around Kino's legs. The neighbors pretend to be Kino's friends, but they are only spying on him with the aim of getting the pearl. Kino is attacked at the beach by someone from the neighborhood. His boat, his his boat is also destroyed. Boat as in boat, B-O-A-T. That one is wrong. Is also destroyed, causing him searing rage. This is evil beyond thinking. As if that is not enough, someone burns Kino's house. The seemingly friendly neighbors are out to get Kino's pal by any means. As Kino's house goes up in flames, all they do is to save their own houses. Joanna Thomas wants Kion, uh, Joanna Thomas rather, wants Kino not to use the show since... There was a search party. They are looking for him. The neighbors that were initially interested in Kino's affairs before now try to wrestle the pearl out of Kino's grasp. This goes to prove that true friendship is indeed hard to find. And in conclusion, in conclusion, many people display questionable questionable rather questionable closeness with Kino's family, which can only be explained in the light of selfishness and opportunism. This friendship is aimed at benefiting them and not Kino and Juana. Not all our friends have benevolent reasons. These again, good series marks the end of this particular episode work, episodic work of even as we're marking the final, the final touches. How I wish that you go through this particular work and make the best out of it slowly when you're quiet, when at peace, and maybe you might be pausing within the lines trying to make some important points here and there. Above all, all the best from Fresh Sherlock. Cheers.